Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. It is raining and it's about four o'clock. The market just closed and Bitcoin closing a rather girthy green candle to the upside here. And uh, well, the question is continuation or not. And we've been saying, well, very likely if we held the $50,000 level that the five day volatility momentum play does play out. And what am I talking about? Well, if you've been on my channel for some time, you better smash the like button. You better press go and uh, you better hook me up with a little comment below that says, I love you, Chris. Thank you for telling me about the five day volatility play because we have been talking about this one for some time saying that, look, once volatility expands uh, from a low level above 25%, that is going to be our signal for a 40% move. Now, the question was, what direction? Well, if the stochastic crossed up during that expansion, you expect the 40% move to rise to the upside. And where does 40% take us? If I'm not mistaken, it takes us right up to about 40,000 bucks. But let's, excuse me, 57,000. Let's do a little mental math here. Actually, let's not do any math. Let's let's take the guessing out of it. This was the bottom candle. That's where we're counting the expansion from. 40%. 40%. dollars Bitcoin in play here. And I will just label that as the target. And that's right in line with that wick. Do I think it stops there? You know, I'm guessing actually the selling pressure comes in off of this candle at 57. So 57 is the first stop. Bit of a short squeeze in the market. That's what's going on right now. And I'm also going to get into some altcoins. Actually, I'm going to make this one a little bit shorter. But um, a lot of people, including myself, were looking for the pullback. Thank God I wasn't short. Uh, but, um, but what is to be expected here? I would say hopefully some sideways, uh, sideways and down. That's what we want. We don't want it to go up too fast because, um, if it does, well, less of an opportunity for us to buy, right? Less of an opportunity for us to buy. But here's what we want is we want this sideways. And that'll give the chance for the altcoins to run. That'll give the chance for some of the altcoins to run. Now, I'm going to name a few outlier picks here uh, on the hot list. On the hot list, I'll start off with Crown, the racing game, the horse racing game. And I did mention this one a while ago saying, hey, look, uh, because, because the actual horse race that everybody cares about, I forgot what it's called. Is this it crowned by third games or this one? I believe this is it. This is the better chart here on this one. Are they at the same price is the question. 160, 186, big difference there. So. Crowned by third games. This is the one uh, that you are looking for. This one. What is unique about Crown? It brings a novel application of blockchain technology to the real world racing of horses. Yes, indeed. It allows for the operation of tracks within Photo Finish Live. The token serves multiple purposes playing, from playing in the game. Benefits to stake as a demonstration of ownership rights over tracks to providing a form of reward now, the explanation I heard was that actual horses, the actual horses are on the game and they're owned through like owning an NFT. By the way, guys, um, for all you Trump supporters out there, OpenSea.io, I am now the official owner of a Trump NFT. And now I can't get to the site, but OpenSea.com, if you go to the OpenSea Trump playing cards, the floor price on these is about 800 bucks right now. 
Um, here we go. This is the collection. You want to make sure you're on the official collection with a blue check mark if you are going to get one. And um, something went wrong. Apparently, it doesn't like my VPN status, but that is the link. That is the link. Trump Digital Trading Card Collection. Why isn't it working? And anyways, I guess I'll show you my card tomorrow. Their floor price is 800 bucks. I guess they triple. My guess is they triple in value. Um, and if he wins the election, they could do more. How would you feel if you had an investment vehicle that was non-correlated to traditional investments? So no matter if we headed into a recession or depression, or if we go to new all-time highs, it does not matter, no matter what. This investment is significantly outperforming inflation. You have complete control over the risk management and the goals you set for this specific investment every month. And you can pull your liquidity at any time, meaning you're in complete control of your own capital. And not to mention the absolute best thing you've probably heard me speak about is the insane results our clients have been getting. They're averaging more than 10% per month. Leveraging this powerful investment vehicle, Bitcoin Trading AI Bots. If you wanna learn more, simply call 800-451-0662. That's 800-451-0662. Or click on the link in the description below. But they're a little bit silly, a little bit funny. But this is the time to get silly in these markets. And where would I be looking to pick up some crown token? Uh, if you don't want to FOMO in, well, you wait for that 618 coming in here at about uh, 132 would be nice. Dang, this thing pumped today again. Um, anyways, another one on the list. Whales up 40% today. Uh, probably not the best time to get it. Ondo, another one on, hot on the list. Koti, another one, hot on the list. And why are they hot? Well, <clears throat> it is, um, I had to look up the word again and text it to my friend because we were talking about it. Shout out to you, Mark. Shout out to you because you bought some Cody yesterday. I suspect. Fully homomorphic encryption. Yes, and apparently they are light years ahead of everybody else when it comes to this new privacy feature. Some kind of a privacy feature. I mean, don't even ask me what it is, but all I know is the narrative is right. We're breaking through major, uh, the, the last major area of resistance was this guy right here. And uh, now how high does it go is the question. How high do we go from here? Okay, next setup, trade setup for Tau. Tau is looking good for a bit of a higher low on the daily time frame. And as long as we're above this pivot, I would expect overall, this one does take another leg up. My magnet is on and it's driving me nuts. So Tau, looking for Tau to uh, ring the bell in at 738. Let's see if momentum flipped to the upside. Not quite yet. So still pressure to the downside and Honestly, the better buying opportunity would be down here. So how would I set this trade setup? Which I'm going to post it in the Discord. If you haven't joined already, feel free to get in there. Spot trade, leverage trade. Are we... Oh, it's a three to one risk to reward. So not the best setup. I would much rather get it down here. Let's see. I would much rather get it down here and target that move all the way up. So looking for a move down to the green 55, something like that would be much better. But personally, I think the it's probably gonna take off right now. Not financial advice, not a financial advisor. And you could target the 2618 FIB um, as well. So I'm gonna post that in the Discord. Link is in the description below. Um, okay, another one on the list. New on the list, Zeno. Don't even ask me what it is, but supposedly uh, it's going to be 
a new hot to trot item. Pith does look good for continuation of the upside. Um, just put in a massive higher low, big green bullish engulfing candle. I would expect some continuation off this, at least a test of the range high. Rollbit, another one on our list, part of the GambleFi narrative. Rollbit, is it going to break out or is it going to just continue to range? I don't know, but I do think this one is another big player. And Stacks, the higher beta play on Bitcoin as Bitcoin just ripped today. Stacks ripped alongside it, uh, already up 1% today. I would imagine some continuation off of this play as well. Is Stacks coming in to the all-time high? Let's see. Let's see what my vision for Stacks is going to be here. Stacks is the higher beta Bitcoin play. And looking at the all-time highs, we're making new all-time highs as we speak. Blue sky breakout. Not bad. Not bad. Um, so would I want to get involved here? Uh, probably not because you're just buying the all-time high. But the question is, when does it stop? When does it stop? <clears throat> Link looks like it is amid uh, another nice bullish move to the upside. Our long-term target is uh, this high right here at 28 bucks. Um, major buying opportunity here. Okay, what else did I do? Zeta. And I actually have the buy zones marked off. That's where you buy. Again, not financial advice, not a financial advisor, but they come down and grab this liquidity. It does look like it wants to continue onwards and upwards here. I you know, again, that's the buying opportunity. Stacks, this is your buying opportunity down here at 197. That's where I'd like to get involved. Um, what other one did I chart out? Super duper, looks like it's putting in another higher low. Gonna get some continuation. IMX, same thing. Metis. Broke the 618. So it's okay to get a little retracement back down to the 0.5. As long as we're above the 382, pressure is going to be on to the upside. But if it does get down here, that is my buy zone at 70 bucks. Rune, uh, we put out a trade setup on this one. In case you didn't get it, it's dropped in the Discord. And I guess Ethereum is doing what we thought it would do all along. Finally did it. Finally breaking out. Finally, you know, the measure move is here. Do I think we stop? I think 35.5 is the target for me on this one. Casper, <clears throat> this is the ultimate buy zone. If it does come back down, um, I, 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 I don't think that's, that's probably not going to happen here. But you can draw a major trend line coming all the way back from here and see that uh, this is pretty much the trend is your friend. I would say this is the low to be pinpointing off right there. And any kind of a buy along this trend line, I would consider probably a major buying opportunity. Um, <clears throat> Pendle. Another one that uh, it looks like it is going to get continuation off the green 55. That was the buy of the year. That was the buy right there. Anything below there, uh, you're out. Stride. Anyways, naming a bunch of hot ones here. <sighs> it looks like I do want to pick up some of that to myself as momentum slipping back to the downside. You got declining volatility coming against that green 55. You got a nice little wick there. Probably going to pull into that one. Uh, Mr. Filecoin, onwards and upwards. Yes, sir. And do I still have my file long coin uh, up? I don't know. I'm going to have to check in on that one. And I got to go, guys. I got to wrap it up. Uh, we went through, a, oh, another another big nasty one here. Noster, part of the real, no, Sana, part of the real world asset narrative. Uh, definitely want to look at that one. Tenet. Another one. I like to see that they're coming down. 
because that means you can buy. And they're going straight up. Probably not the best buying opportunity. Um, anyways, with that said, hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like on the like button, and I will be back tomorrow with some more altcoin analysis, Bitcoin analysis, and uh, have yourself a blessed day. Take care.